I'm terrified. Caleb made it. Picnicky rat. So Janae found a dandelion and she wants to make a wig. So now we're waiting at the stage door. One more! While we're here in London, we're trying to take advantage of the West End shows that we can see. And today is probably the one the kids are most excited about. I'm pretty excited as well. They have Wicked right next to you. We're not gonna go see Wicked right now. We're going to Hamilton. A couple years ago, I had the chance to see Hamilton performed by Lin-Manuel Miranda, the writer and star. But our kids have never seen it. They haven't even seen the one on Disney+. Plus. They've listened to the music a bunch of times, but I'm really excited for them to see this show. It's amazing from the choreography. Obviously, the writing is great. But what they do with the lighting and the staging, the blocking, every piece of this feels like a masterpiece and I'm glad to get to share this with them. I love Hamilton so much. We're up to the Grand Circle. You can totally see it flying from up here. We have 30 minutes until it starts. Oh, good thing I brought my book. This is amazing. Even the worst seats in here are totally good. Alright, Caleb, what do you think? So good! Yeah. It was amazing. I love the choreography and everything. It was amazing. I loved it. Alright, so now we're waiting at the stage door. They say that typically some characters will come out, people from the play. We'll see if we get the chance to let them know how much we liked it. It's definitely raining now. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Great job. That was amazing. These are my kids. One, two, three. All right. Thank you so much. That was incredible. Great job. Thank you. Yeah, the pigtails. It's a fun choice. <laughs> You get good, good feedback. Thank you so much. So bad. Well, I liked what you brought to Jefferson, though. The extra oomph. Like, it was good. Oomph, right? Yeah. It's such an iconic role. Yeah. You have to bring something a little bit different. Yeah, I thought you did. Hi, you like the French, huh? I would. I would think so. Once you find it, it is very fun. Can we do a picture real quick? Hamilton, and then Aaron Burr, and then. Uh, this is Lafayette, and then this is Jeff. Jeff. That's so cute. It's just a little trash can. So this little mini trash can is for food scraps, mm -hmm. and we just think it's adorable. Everything's cuter when it's tiny, like you. <laughs> We're headed out like that dog. on a hike walk. It's a fort up there. Oh my goodness. I won't forget about this. So there's actually a little spot up here. Good job, buddy. I'm terrified. I can't watch. I love this. You're watching. The adrenaline. <laughs> So we've been watching a British Isles nature documentary called Wild Isle together as a family. And one of the episodes was all about forests and these ancient woodlands and how important and vital they are to all the ecosystems here. So we decided to go out into Epping Forest and explore, which is actually really close to our house. This is one of the ancient forests. It says that it has over like 55,000 ancient trees here. And we're excited to find some of those old trees and just be out in nature. I'm gonna breathe a little easier when both these boys have their feet firmly on the ground again. Good job, Isaac. Done. That was awesome. Yeah? The only hard part is these were all right up to my head. So I think this is holly and it is very spiky. Caleb made it down the hardest part. Why do people kiss under holly when it's so spiky? I think people kiss under mistletoe. What are you eating? A berry. What kind of a berry? I don't know, but it tastes good. <laughs> Sweetheart, we can't just eat stuff we find in the forest. It's a raspberry. Was it a blackberry? Yeah. Luckily, if you fall at this point, you probably won't die. <laughs> probably. <laughs> 
Your dad will catch you. Well, right now I can just hop down. Just jump out. Yeah. Got it. The thorns are right under. No. Woo! Is the largest. One of my favorite parts of the show we're watching is they explained how fungi under the forest floor. Bike to the right, everyone, to the right. Good job. So anyway, fungi under the forest floor make an interconnected web throughout the woods that help the trees communicate with each other to help new or struggling trees. And so if there was a certain tree that was struggling for water, the fungi could help them send signals to each other to know that they needed to send water to the struggling little tree. It's amazing. It's funny, I keep saying to the right when a bike comes or someone running, but technically I should be saying to the left. So we're in Epping Forest and we're going to be exploring around Wanstead Park. Whoa. We keep stopping to try to admire how big these trees are, trying to think of how much they've seen over the years. So when this forest in the 12th century, Henry the First, it was a royal forest. Then Queen Victoria, when she came around in the late 1800s, she dedicated it as a people's forest. But this forest has seen a lot. We found fungi. Did fungi. Fungi? Could be. There could be lots of ants living in there. We have come to really respect ants. Man, those insects. Whoa! That's a legit. What a big, beautiful tree. So speaking of ants, in the documentary we were watching, we learned about this caterpillar that is able to inhale air and make noises and set off pheromones that make the ants believe it is a queen in distress. Once it gets into the ant layer, it eats all of the larvae and then comes out as a beautiful blue butterfly a year later. It was so fascinating. We love learning about nature. It's like the only meat-eating, like, yeah, caterpillar. We learned about slugs and birds and elk Snakes. and bunnies. And then one of the coolest parts at the end of the show, each episode, they do a little behind the scenes of how they got the footage. It takes so much work. Some of these animals that we're seeing are crazy looking, especially the birds. Like, that's funny. They make weird noises, too. Is that a squirrel up there? Oh, it is! It it's amazing. jumping! Yes! Oh, that makes me miss the squirrels in Kansas City. Of course. There's different kinds, or are those ones just older? I think it looks different. I don't different. know much I want to see uh, the water droplets hitting it. So you remember the mushrooms are the fruit of the fungi. Kev and I found a strategy to get up every time. Almost I boost every time. him, and then he either helps me up or I get up because I'm taller. So I just boost it up and now. Oh my gosh, it has the best sitting area I've ever seen on any show. Oh shoot, I hope I can make it. We're I setting it. up for a little picnic -y rest. We made it up here and it is one of the best trees we have ever seen. Look. We can like There's like sit. tons of sitting room and it keeps going up. This is awesome. So this has been one of our favorite little snacks. They're called cheese twists. And they're like little crunchy, fluffy breadsticks. They're really good. Mommy, <laughs> I wish we could get our feet wet, but. We're watching the rings in the water and we've been talking about Claude Monet's garden. Giverny, like when we were there and we saw his gardens and the water and how he painted the reflections of the Don't plants burn. on the water and the light kind of dancing on the water. So mesmerizing. 15. 11 is Bob the Builder. I am in love with all these chestnut trees. They look like furry and they're actually soft. This one was on the ground.
going to build up her fairy fort again. No, I'm making my own. We're making a city around this tree, and this is the center for birds. This is little worlds for fairies, insects, and little butterflies. Little homes for them. I love that leaf on there, Laura. Oh, thanks. I'm trying to try to make something like a marker or something. I don't know. I'm trying to make something. This is what I'm most proud of right here, is bending it to give it like a a top. <gasps> but Lee's over here. She's got like Stop. a top <laughs> Alright, I'm the monkey in the middle. Your kids are old enough to give you a run for your money, Jeremy. So Whoa. this is what can one of those it? chestnut things looks like when it opens. Yeah, you can use it. So each little stand is selling a little something. Oh, how fun. Oh, Caleb, yours is looking really good. Isaac's is a football. But it also is a hollow little house. Well, it's late enough. We probably should be heading home to make dinner, but everyone's kind of enjoying the downtime and we're out in nature. So we're just gonna keep going. Janae, do you realize how influential you are? You had an idea to make a fun little world for the bugs and look at how many different worlds there are now. Good job, Nainers. Do you want help? Do you want any help then? No. You guys watch out, she's doing it. We have too much weight Good job, Nainers. Are you gonna make it all the way down? Just two more. You got it. So no way. Come on. Oh. One more. I can't do you it. Can. I you can. You can. Oh, you got this. I can. I'm gonna try. Oh, I just good try. I need to do it again. My hands are so slippery. Yep. Wait, let me try. Oh, you're almost there. Go, she wanted go, to try go. again. She let her arms rest. Go, go, go. Oh. One more! No, no, come on! One more! One more! You got it! I'll give your arm some rest. Do it, do it, do it! Yes! Oh, good job, Nainers. Good job. All right, Laura, what movie are we gonna go home to finish? Yep, last night we stopped at the intermission and the kids are excited it to finish like it. They're headed to the ball. Yep. And then they stop. It's like, I'm just on the ball set. Check out that awesome flower I found. So pretty. What? Oh, there is females. Whoa! <laughs> Someday you'll get a kitten. Yeah, that's obvious. I'm going to get like 59 animals. <laughs> well, okay. even more than 100. Okay. So Janae found a dandelion. And she wants to make a wish. But I don't know. Yeah, she's thinking about it. She can't wish for kittens because it's obvious that she's going to get kittens. <laughs> so what are you thinking about for wishes? I can't tell. Yeah, she can't tell. Or else it won't come true. That's the problem. Have you ever made a wish that did come true? One. Which one? You can um, tell us now because it came true. OK, because it came true. I wanted Sunny. You wanted Sunny, and then we got Sunny. Oh my goodness, these ancient trees are so beautiful. This is why it takes us so long on hikes. Every little beautiful thing, we're like, oh, look at it. Can you stand over to the side of Isaac? We're getting a picture in front of another pretty tree. One of my favorite views in the world is the view of my whole family walking ahead of me in nature. It's just a really peaceful time for me. Like we're all here, we're all together, and we're outside, and it's lovely. Good night, do yourself. We are in an American candy store. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful.